Qualcomm's been working in Taiwan with OSATs and foundries for many, many years because Taiwan has proven itself to be a very reliable ecosystem for high quality suppliers. And this becomes even more important as technology gets more complex and difficult. Spill is a long-term strategic supplier. We've executed previously a sustainability collaboration in the water treatment project area with them about three years ago and it went very well. And Phil shares the same goal as Qualcomm to engage in a broader set of suppliers in the upstream supply chain in Taiwan. We are very happy to see that the world-wide information technology company and the world-wide information technology company to support the growth 那这也是经济部积极鼓励企业进行能源转型最直接、最快速的一个方式。统计细品，二零二零年总共节电的二点三趴，大约是两千九百万度电，就相当于三十八座的大安森林公园一年的二氧化碳吸收量。就是由高通带头，以母鸡带小鸡的方式啊，群策群力，带动整体的供应链啊，快速的跨入再生能源的领域。我很多公司都想发展绿能，但是投资这个金额都不小，然后回收年限会很长。当我们听到高通有这样子一个啊赞助绿能发电的计划的时候，马上就决定要报名参加。从去年开始参与规划、施工，到今年接上台电的电表，现在已经每一天都在啊发电了。感谢高通给我们这一个的机会，它让我们在厂房的屋顶盖了一个一百七十 k 瓦的电厂。太阳能的发电量可以一年提供二十四万度的发电量。由于我们顶楼太阳能板的一个建制，它可以降低顶楼的温度，在呃冷气的使用上面也可以有节电的效果。我们预计呃年节约电量约十三万度，那总计每年可降低六十六点二公吨的二氧化碳排放。非常感谢。高通跟细品跟我们共同参与绿能发电，高通给这个计划的支持，说实在，我们真的是蛮感动的，也让我们体会到，嗯，地球的永续经营是人人有责。生产绿电替代目前高污染的石化燃料电力，为节能减碳尽一份心力。有愿景，然后有目标，以实际的行动由高通带领。细品跟供应链伙伴共同创造的这个绿色永续供应链。加速推动再生能源转 型， 不但是各国对抗气候变迁的必然趋 势， 更是台湾企业提升全球竞争力、打入国际绿色供应链的重要关键。对全球数位化发展扮演重要角色的台湾半导体产业。引领世界的趋势，推动产业永续经营，更是刻不容缓。希望未来高通公司在产业永续发展的议题当中扮演起头的作用，让绿色供应链的合作模式推展到全台，早日达成绿色科技岛的一个愿景。Uh, we know that sustainability is an important priority for the Taiwan government, and we share that goal. And in fact, Qualcomm has been a member of the Responsible Business Alliance. What Qualcomm hopes to achieve with the program is to specifically engage with a broader set of suppliers in Taiwan. This is in support of our 2030 vision of increased sustainability and transparency in the management of climate and water impact across our entire value chain.